Good morning. Day three of the perambulation. Bit of a late one last night. Didn't arrive until uh, it was ten to eight, so I had to set up. Um, the rain was just about to come in, but it didn't actually arrive, so um, I didn't do any filming. Managed to push on to Dry Lake, so uh, quite a few miles in. And I'll just see what the weather's like today. Much the same as it was yesterday. Overcast. What a lovely place to camp. Right by the river. So day three is off to uh, Princetown and up the other side to Great Mist Tour and uh, then hopefully on to um, Lich Tour, which I hear is a pretty nice place to camp. So all packed up now. As always, uh, leave no trace. Just remember where you've been. And uh, we're going to go down to the main path there and turn right and head up towards Princetown. So that's where we come from. We're up towards uh, just past Ermine Head Ford. And uh, going to follow this valley up to the top and then over there to follow the Abbot's Way. After my abysmal uh, map reading yesterday, uh, I think somebody's been kind. They um, marked my way with little pink flags. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but they go off into the distance. And then uh, when we hit that ridge, there's a path that runs along and up over on the Abbot's Way. We we'll go over the top of there. So it's 10 o'clock, I thought I'd have a quick rest, something to drink, something to eat. Uh, one of the things I learnt yesterday was uh, I didn't have enough to drink, um, only about a litre and a half of the whole day, which was just not enough, so it's something I need to be mindful of today. So this is my next point on the perambulation, and uh, we're heading off that way, up, up towards Prince Standstill. It looks like the rain's coming in, so waterproof's on now. There's Nuns Cross Farm. Nice little spot, but it's uh, very bleak. You would have had to have been hardy to live there. And there it is, Nuns Cross. And the next perambulation is out that way, and then uh, it's back onto the track up towards Princetown. Made good progress along this good track and uh, down there is uh, Prince Town and the uh, prison you can probably just see there and then uh, after that we climb up the hill to the mast so the uh, southern moors are now shrouded in mist and uh, we've made it to the mast on top of North Hesse tour and um, I think we're heading down to Ruddlestone which is often the start of the perambulation or it is on the list and uh, Great Mist Toy up Great Mist Tour up there uh, will be the last large climb of the day. I don't know if you heard in that last clip there was some music. That must have been what they were transmitting. It's just picked up on my um, microphone. A bit scary. What a wonderful view though. Out to the uh, east. It's a lovely day, as long as the rain keeps off. So this is the Rundlestone and um, it's the first on the list for the perambulation. But we're uh, going up that lane and uh, up onto a great mist tour. So, it's 
the boundary stone that great mist tour which is uh, just up there and uh, we've come from down there oh beautiful weather hopefully the rain will keep off all right we'll go up to the top have a look up see what we can see see if we can see our route that's a view from the uh, top of great mists top looking out towards the ruse and uh, cox tour just about to see the lake and uh, down there towards cornwall i suppose wow what panorama looking northwards up to highwell hayes this tour out towards the east beautiful and wild and uh, my route goes down here so made it to white barrow it's uh, in the middle of nowhere again and uh, we're heading over there to Lich Tor. So we made it to the uh, flag pole on Lich Tor. See over there in the distance the mast where we came from, this side of uh, Princetown. And over there is uh, White Tour. It's the uh, first tour that I took my uh, lads uh, world camping quite, f quite a few years ago. Look at that view. Fantastic. I was supposed to be uh, camping here tonight, but uh, it's only quarter past four. So um, I might um, carry on, see how far we get, another hour or two. So just going up the Rattlebrook now, I think I've gone far enough tonight. A really nice day today, some nice exposed moorland, the rain kept off. Here's my camp spot, high above the Rattlebrook. Unless there's anything uh, pops up in the evening, I'll uh, see you in the morning for uh, day four. Good morning, day four of the Prembolation. It's been a bit of a wet and windy night because I camped up high above uh, the Rattlebrook. As you can see, a uh, bit of a dark moor morning, a bit misty. It was um, rainy and windy overnight, so it just blew through. But today we're, uh, as I say, heading up the Rattlebrook to Rattlebrook Heads, off to Highwell Hayes, Yes Tour, and uh, then off to Belston. So I'll bring you back. So just made uh, Bleak House, as uh, it says on the tin. It really is pretty bleak up here, and uh, going up that path there. On the other side of the weather brook. That was a hard walk across open moorland here, here Logan Rock. Over there is uh, Lintz Tor. We'll be going up that way and then climbing up to Hyrule Haze up there. Well, the weather's got really bad now. It's raining constantly. I'm on Highwell Haze, and if you look over there in the mist, it's the last tour, last high point. Yes, tour. It's been a hard trekker up from the river where I had to take my uh, shoes and socks off to cross it. But uh, as I say, yes, tour awaits us and then downward to, into Bellstone. 
so up there is yes tor I'll just come down and uh, i'll be using the uh, military road to go down to culliver's steps which is uh, down in that direction but i don't know if you can see up there is uh, our first hill or point of the perambulation on uh, Thursday, Cosden Hill. Oh, it seems such a long time ago. Right, let's uh, trek on down to uh, Culliver Steps. Made it to my final point on the perambulation. I guess they are uh, Culliver Steps. walk up the track and into Bellstone. I really enjoyed the walk, it's been really hard in places. Respect to anybody that does it in uh, three days. The likes of Wandering Jay and John Outdoors. That's some going. I'm sure I'll be back on Dartmoor again enjoying its beauty thanks for watching and I'll see you soon